Hello, this is Alishan Mao. When it comes to flying multi rotors, there's always a fail safe provided by your flight controller that is auto return to home. In case anything goes wrong, you go out of the radio control range, your multi rotor will fly back. But the problem is that fail safe is not very reliable. Uh, what if there's a GPS glitch? What if there's a building or a tall, fast moving tree on the way back home? And what if your RTH does not even work? Or, in most of the cases, what if one of your motors gives up and your multirotor is falling? Or what if uh, the battery runs out and your multirotor is falling? That failsafe auto return to home has no use, has it? So the thing is, when you are flying multirotors, especially the quadcopters, especially the multirotors which are carrying very expensive camera systems you need a foolproof um, emergency or protection system to actually recover or protect your investment of these cameras and expensive multi rotors so when it comes to these scenarios when it comes to protect your multi rotor when it comes to protect your ga gear out of those fail safe provided by the flight controllers you will need a parachute system so for multi rotors emergency parachute system especially when you have a lot of investment um, expensive multi rotor and expensive camera gears on it it is uh, really really essential really significant for you to actually have an emergency parachute system now looking around we don't actually get much of uh, information or we don't even actually have any uh, emergency parachute systems which are very very reliable but fortunately, I met these guys uh, online and they are making one of the most reliable emergency parachute system that is suitable for your multi-rotors. And it is right here. It's called uh, SkyCat Parachute Launcher or SkyCat Emergency Parachute System. So I have got here the SkyCat uh, Parachute Launcher. I have got uh, Opel Parachute here. I have got uh, Parachute um, Trigger here. Let me just uh, pick up the other camera and give a quick look at the package that I have received, the component of this package, and then we will see how this parachute system works. And uh, after that, we will prepare it and put it on one of these multi rotors and give it a try outdoors. So let's get to it. So here we are with the components that I have received from SkyCat. Um, we have the parachute here. This is Opel Paramodels 2.5 M2 parachute. The optimal weight range for this parachute to handle is 3 to 4 kg. It's a bit lighter and cheaper. Um, 4 kg means uh, that it will handle up to 4 kg of weight once opened in a free fall. So if a multi rotor is um, 4 kg with batteries and every component, camera stuff on board, this parachute will handle the free fall. Right. Next we have a tool to push the spring down this cylinder. Okay, This is the uh, launcher, a SkyCat parachute launcher you can see. Um, and the spring loaded system here, you have to push it. So they have provided a tool for you to push. And once you push, you will install the fuse here. Once the fuse is installed, uh, the spring will hold there and you can install the parachute system inside. Then we have an FET trigger, okay? This is their newest, lightest trigger. It takes power from the receiver, uh, only few milliamps, so I'm not worried about receiver freeze. It, it just takes power to send a signal to the launcher that to burn the fuse and launch the parachute system. And actually the response time is really, really short, very quick, immediate response. This trigger has a built-in diode that actually allows uh, to take the volts up to 6.1 volts. But basically your receiver is getting 5 volts, so that should be enough. And then we have the uh, parachute attachments. Okay. We have fuse wire. A lot of fuse wire they provided. And we have fuse locks. A lot of fuse locks. And they also provided XT60 connectors to solder. Now, how does this system work? Uh, it's very, very simple. First, we need to prepare the fuse using the fuse logs. Then the fuse installs onto the uh, inside the launcher cylinder. Okay, 
and will hold the spring down with the fuse. Then we install the parachute inside and connect the trigger to the SkyCat launcher and the other side of the trigger will connect to 11.1 volt 30C battery and then this port connects to your receiver channel free channel. So as soon as the trigger gets the signal from the receiver, uh, of course coming from your radio, as soon as the trigger gets the signal, it will making the fuse burn and the fuse burns really quick. So I have said the response time is really, really immediate. And as soon as the fuse burns, pop goes the parachute out because of the spring loaded cylinder there and opens immediately, saving your multi-rotor from the dreaded drop. So I was also thinking that I'm going to actually test this one on my um, Sky Observer or my Twin Dream long range uh, FPV planes because this will work on those planes as well. Basically if you have a multi-rotor, if you have a UAV which is um, under 4 kg, uh, the payload limit of this Opel parachute uh, right here, you can actually use this system on any UAV rated for 4kg. But if you need a um, bigger parachute, they also have bigger parachute, uh, Skycat, they also have bigger parachute uh, which can handle up to 9kg. Or you can simply go with two or three of these parachutes at the same time. So basically you can launch three parachutes or two parachutes at the same time if you have a bigger and heavier multi-rotor or UAV and they will work all the same. So just to show you how big is this Opel Paramodel parachute, uh, this is 2.5 M2, you can see the size of it. So this is it today for the SkyCat parachute launchers and parachute system introduction. If you want to order these uh, systems right away, please go ahead and follow the links in the video description. For EU customers, um, they can get the parachute system directly from SkyCat. And for the customers all around the world, OFM is going to stock these um, SkyCat parachute launchers and parachute systems very, very soon. So I'm going to put them on my website very, very soon and put them on pre-orders or on um, regular orders as soon as I get the stock from the SkyCat. So stay tuned and um, I will be preparing the launcher very very soon with the parachute system installed on some of uh, one of my models either the airplane or multi-rotor. Basically I will demo the model uh, parachute systems on both multi-rotors and the airplane system to see how it behaves and how it saves your investment expensive equipment and stuff. And um, also I will be posting videos like how to set the parachute system, how to make the fuse and how to set the system up and how to use the system, how to program the radio for you to actually activate the Sky, uh, SkyCat parachute launcher. So stay tuned and many more videos are coming. Right now outside is really foggy and smoggy and rainy kind of weather. But as soon as weather is clear, this thing is going to be ready for testing.